Good morning everyone. Welcome to my channel. I hope you all are doing great. It is Sunday morning. It's around 7.30. So I'm out here with my warm water and enjoying this beautiful weather because it seems like it's gonna rain but right now that cool breeze is coming and it feels so good. So I thought why not start my day from here because everyone is sleeping right now and i'm so happy today guys because yesterday we had a precious guest and i'm gonna insert the clip so you guys know who they are but the entire day yesterday and even this morning my day is just such a feel with joy um so I'll, let me insert the clip so you guys know who they are and then i'll talk to you guys so in my backyard we do have this fence and let me go closer so you can see what we have but actually my husband was mowing the lawn and he saw this if you see it from here you cannot even see what's in there but let me take you close enough so it's a bunny and it's actually a baby um so when my husband was mowing the lawn accidentally you know you can see all the leaves on top of him but as soon as he saw him he stopped and we did call the animal control people so they should be coming here any minute because we don't want this bunny to die um because it seemed like it's very small it is a baby and um i was actually gonna put water here and some food but i don't even know what bunny eats uh, so we don't want to take any chance so I call the animal control so they should be coming any minute now He's not? No He was just sitting down in the corner Is he live? Yeah, it's alive. Yeah, he, he just moved right? Oh my gosh <laughs> It's fine It's a pretty young one. It's not gonna get stuck. It, it'll be fine getting in between these Mom probably uh, gave birth to it and stashed him back here because it's a safe place to keep him from predators and things like that. Oh my gosh. So he can come in and out of there pretty easily. But do you know if I can leave some kind of food for him to you, eat? You, or? you don't want to do that. It's against the law to feed wildlife. Yeah, Mom, of the, course. The mother is well equipped to care for them herself. You don't want to mess with them at all. The, yeah, the, but then how the... I don't know where the mom is and I don't know they, how she They typically, so most wild animals will not hang around their, their babies because the mom is what's going to attract the predators. Predators are going to see mom. So if there's foxes around here. There's oh, yes. all, all feral cats. There's all kinds of stuff all over the place yes. that want to eat them. Birds, hawks, stuff like that. So when mom's around them, it attracts the animals to them. So their natural instinct is to come back and feed them and leave. Come back, feed them, leave. Stuff like that. So they okay. don't want to spend too much time around them because it's going to draw the predators to their babies. Right, right. So animal control guy left and he say Bunny's doing fine. It looks like he must be a week or two weeks old. And I asked him if I can feed him something. And he's like, no, because mama should be somewhere around here and uh he say that mom must have found this place secure that's why she must have delivered the baby here because he asked me that if i don't feel comfortable he can put the baby somewhere out there and i was like no you know i don't want to do that because once he's out there he's basically exposed to all the predator right so i was like no as long as he's doing fine i'm okay if he stay there because when we first saw him he was breathing so hard and that's the reason i called the animal control you know because i don't want him to die but he confirmed that no he's doing fine so i'll show you where he is right now so if you can see he's right there so it's yeah. sunday morning and both of these bunnies are still here so yesterday evening mother did came and uh, I'm not sure whether she came here to see the baby but then when she came she dropped this other one too because in the beginning we just saw one of this bunny but then after that we saw the second one and after they both met they were so happy they were playing together and all that and uh, you know i feel so sorry for them because i do want to give them something to eat but i just don't know what to give it to them and today it's gonna rain entire day so i do want to make them feel comfortable but i just don't want to scare them so they are just sitting here and um, we actually name them so one of them is uh, munchkin and the other one is kiwi so as you can see their eyes is wide open 
and uh, we are keeping eye on them every few minutes uh, just to make sure you know the other predator doesn't come and get them because see before when we first found one of them um, um, he was right in that corner and if you see that corner was perfect you know no one can see it and he was very comfortable there but then he came out and now the other one is here and basically they are exposed right now if you see it like anyone can see them so so this is our basement window so when kids are down here they can keep eye on them and uh, that's my kitchen window and the door so we can keep eye on them from up there too also we can see from uh, raj room so we are keeping eye on them and this morning you guys won't believe but as soon as my husband woke up he's like did you check on bunny are they okay so yes we all are worried about them we just want to make sure that you know they are okay and they so cute <laughs> So yesterday, you know, around 7.30, uh, my husband is like, it's already 7.30, where the mom is? And I was like, do you think she knows that it's 7.30, I need to go back to my babies? <laughs> but then finally she came and see, initially we found only one of them, right? And then after the mother came, I'm not sure whether she has left the other baby in neighbor's yard or she brought it with her. But then after mother came, we saw this other baby too. And I was like, oh my gosh, you know. So now we have a two babies. And again, we don't know where the mother is. So it seemed like mother go away, uh, like during the daytime. Because when that um, uh, animal control guy came, you know, he mentioned that uh, mother must be around somewhere, but she doesn't want to stay with the baby because then the predator knows that she just had a baby so then an easy target for the baby so basically what mom do is mom go somewhere else so the babies are safe and actually you know after hearing him and all that i feel so blessed that she found my house to be a secure place for her baby to stay there and now not even one we have a two babies and i'm just actually kind of worried that what can i do to make them feel comfortable that's it that's all i wanted so then i just went downstairs and i put we had a one old uh, post office box so i put it around it so they are not like exposed to the predator and in case if the rain comes still they will be fine so I don't want to feed them anything because you know what if i give them carrot or something and they choke right <laughs> so i don't want to give them anything to eat but uh, i feel really blessed you know i feel so blessed that uh, she found my house to be a secure place that's it so i'm so happy so happy so let's go inside and let's start making some breakfast because i need to feed my babies <laughs> So here I'm making upma and for that I do have about tablespoon oil in the pan. Once the oil is hot enough adding some mustard seed, asa fatida, as well as the whole red chilies. Here I'm adding some grated ginger. I'm gonna let that saute just for a second or so and next I'm adding some green chilies. Between all those ingredients you just want to let it saute for just a few seconds or so and next I'm adding some chopped onion. And here I'm adding some curry patta and curry patta in upma is a must because it gives really good aroma to this dish. Also I'm adding some peanuts. I'm not sure traditionally they do add it or not but I really like the crunch of it. And next I'm adding some uh, udad dal as well as the chana dal. Again both of these ingredients I never skip. I'm going to let this saute just for about a minute or so and next I'm going to add some carrot. And as you see, I cut the carrot in the small pieces so it won't take that long to cook. After adding carrot, I'm going to add suji. So I do have one cup of suji here. And I'm going to roast this first for about 5 minutes or so. Now if your suji is already roasted, then you don't need to do this. But my suji is not roasted. So I'm going to let that roast for about 5 minutes and then I'm going to add water. 
So I'm going to add three cups of water here and I always go with this ratio. So one cup of suji to three cup of water and it always comes out perfect. After adding water, I'm going to add salt to taste, mix everything properly and let that cook for about five minutes or so. And after five minutes, I'm going to add some green peas as well as the different color bell pepper. Now bell pepper is totally optional here, but I happen to have it and I thought why not add it. So that's the reason I'm adding it, but uh, that is totally optional. And that's it. Once you mix properly, you do want to let that cook for another five minutes or so. And after five minutes, this is how your okma is going to look like. And I'm also adding some lemon juice to taste. And that's it. Our okma is all done. So it's around 2.30 right now and yes, I'm still in my pajamas. <laughs> Weekends are always like this, right? Where we don't have anywhere to go or there is no any particular schedule to follow. These clothes are so comfortable. Uh, but I'm about to go and take a shower. But here I'm making date milk. So date are really good in uh, calciums and uh, iron. So if you have a kids and if they don't like to eat dates, I think this is the other way you can give it to them. My kids don't like it this way. They prefer to eat it just by itself, but my husband like it this way. So that's what I'm making here for him. So basically what I did is I took few dates and I put it in the milk. I boiled it for about 10, 15 minutes. And once it's softened, now I'm gonna go ahead and blend it and then I'll go ahead and strain and then I'll give it to him. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do and after that I'm gonna go take a shower and guess what where we are going Yes, we are going for the grocery shopping <laughs> We both were getting so poor and he's like do you want to go and so we are going to the Indian grocery store I don't have anything to buy but I was like Okay, you know, we'll be in and out in 10-15 minutes um, So that's what we're gonna do, but let me show you how I do this this is what it looks like and now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, blend it. So here date milk is ready and I'm just going to go ahead and put it in the freeze so it get cold before he drinks it. We are all set to go but before going we're going to go downstairs and check on munchkin and kiwi. So we came to this Patel Brothers. This is a brand new store in our area and it's really huge. Uh, so let's go inside. So this Patel Brothers is so huge. They have tons and tons of different varieties. I was well stocked on my grocery so there was not much things I need to buy but definitely once all these things settle down I do want to go back so I can share more with you guys but they do have this fresh kitchen where they were making roti parathas, alu paratha, puran poli, methi thepla all those things they were making right there of course I did buy some but out of all this this thepla was so good so in my recent video, someone asked me which achar powder do I use, then I use the swad one. They have a hot and the mild one. I use the hot one. And now we are back home. So let me show you what we got. So here I have methi thepla, puran poli and the alu paratha. Now out of all these three, definitely methi thepla is so good. Also, I got one packet of uh, instant dhokla mix and the common mix. And here I have this Kerry Fudina Sherbet. That sounds so interesting, so I thought let me try it. And also I have here this Masala Boar. Um, I really like that. And also got one Amul Lassi. Also this Coconut Chutney. It, 
again it just sounds so interesting so i thought let me try it you just have to mix either water or the yogurt and that's it some random stuff uh, the cookies for the kids and i also got one coconut powder package one of the garlic chutney and that's it so i sanitize all the groceries so first of all let's go and check on uh, bunnies and let's see what they are doing so I have this USPS box so I put it in front of them so in case if there is a rain they should be okay and uh, like a predator cannot see them. So this morning I put it like very next to them but after that they move over there. For dinner tonight no one is feeling that much hungry so I'm just gonna make chai and that uh, methi paratha that I got it from Patel Brothers I'm just gonna warm that up. And this Patel Brothers, it is a brand new store. They just opened few months back. So that was the thing like, you know, for us, like, let's go and see how it is. So I guess for me, the main attraction was, uh, you know, they were making all this roti and parathas and everything fresh over there. So maybe down the road within a few months, once all these things settle down, we'll go back and see what other things they had to offer. But other than that, um, it, the store is fine you know it is a, no doubt it is a huge store so that's it I just have to clean all the vegetables now and uh, I'm gonna end this vlog here thank you so much for watching take care guys and I will see you soon in my next video bye